All right, everybody, welcome back to Black Mesa. We have accidentally been skipped by the elevator here. However, if it's anything like what we saw over on the Half-Life side, that might have been a good thing because we're going to be running into a bunch of troopers as we go up. So let's try to make sure that we are in a good position to take care of them. And by take care of them, I don't mean make sure that they're warm and happy and this is the elevator we saw going up alongside us. I don't mean make sure that they're warm and happy and they've got sandwiches. Now, let's see here. Get on it! Get on it! Get on it! Ooh. Looks like something's already busted up the thing. Is this guy dropped? Did he do like the other guy did and and drop a grenade on top of himself? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Okay, let's keep going up. We got the magnum ready just in case. It looks like we should be coming up on the guy right up here. There's some more. Alright, we've got two rifle grenades now. Alright, let's get ready. Come on up, come on up. Ooh, that's not that great a, great a situation, is it? No, that's not that great a situation at all. Okay, um... There turret. Uh, there's a turret over there, isn't there? Okay, so here's an interesting thing. Can we throw a grenade up there? Nope. Down, down. Come on, down, down, down. Can we hawk? No, we can't hawk a grenade up there either, can we? Oh, oh! Barely grabbed onto that thing. Hmm. So here's an interesting thing, is that no, <laughs> not what I wanted to do. No, no. Ah, right, we we'll go this way. Hello. There we go. Did that take out the... Didn't take you out? I did not take you out. <sighs> I have no grenades when this is over with. Alright. Let's just see if we can... Why is that not... Oh! <sighs> These are the red ones, isn't they? Down, 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 down. Why am I getting stuck here? Did that get them all? They weren't the blue ones, they were the red ones, you dummy. Well, used up a whole bunch of grenades to do that, so I am going to, if there's no grenades up here, glad we got that points back, I am going to head down and pick the grenades up off the, off the area downstairs. Oh! Alright, well, let's get this another try, shall we? Jeez. Alright, we know we can go all the way up to the next to the top one. Seems to be the only one that had anything. And that's got our two rifle grenades that we're going to use on these two turrets. 
put one over there. And we're going to put one over there. And didn't seem like either one did anything, did it? Oh. And that's because we were using the dam. Because we were using the damn grenade uh, uh, shotgun all that time. Oh, man. Uh, 35 health. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's go get this health over here. So we're back up to 60. Did we, use, we didn't use up all those grenades this time. So, uh, yeah, let's just get on up. We're having about, we're being about as successful here as we were on the, uh, Half-Life side. I'm gonna get my... Ooh, look at the way we threw that thing down the road. Get my Magnum up here. So we can hopefully... Maybe one shot some of these guards. Anytime. Let's see, man. Alright, that's a dead guard. Looks like a dead guard. That's a good sign and a bad sign. Hopefully the guards and the aliens have started fighting each other on this side like they did over there, too. Hey, what? Let's leave this for the moment. There we go. Save our magnum rounds for the ones that we need it on. Okay, I think this is going to be kind of like what we had over on the other side. And that. Let's leave our train here. And see what we've got coming up over in the other places. Anything here? Anything at all? No? I just, I get scared about getting caught on the geogra geometry of these things these days, you know? Ever since we got hooked behind that table, I would really not like to get stuck. Y'all are a jumble. Y'all are a mess. Ooh. And this fire! Fire! Okay, so we're going to have to get in that way. That's an interesting thing. I'll bet we do end up over that way. Okay. Dang it. I keep forgetting. That I don't have... So that's him, but you didn't go any further. You didn't, like, uh, do anything. Let's not run into the electrical wires there. Especially when our health is so freaking low. Alright. We got anything here we need to... Alright. More. Nothing more. 
nothing more, no. There's plenty of places that it looks like we should be able to get into at some point. Okay. Get over here. Can we jump that? Yeah, we can jump that. Let's try not to get hung on these barnacles here. I see y'all. I see y'all. I see you're trying to trying to trap us. Hmm. All right. Am I gonna have to waste ammo taking you out? I did. I guess I could have just jumped over and came all the way back this way, but at least this way we get to see what all that stuff is. Definitely an interesting uh, situation. Is that a shotgun over there? I thought it looked kind of like a combat shotgun or something. Okay, let's get our... What we got? more rounds. I could use health. I could really use health, but okay. Ah, that was nice. That felt very good. Okay, that was decent. We're getting there. We are getting there. Shall we bring the tram up further so that we don't walk this entire thing on foot? Just in case. I wonder how we're going to do. Let's duck. It should hopefully break through that. Maybe. I still don't want to get electrocuted by that. It did. It squished it pretty darn good. Okay, that's all of the area that we've been in so far. What's up here on this upcoming stuff? I see something moving. It's another bull squid, I do believe. We've been hitting the damn thing. I don't know if we are. You know what? I know what will hit it. You! You too! And you! And your brother over there! Y'all aren't that bright! Y'all are not that bright! Because I'm not that bright, I'm walking around with 56 hit points right at the moment, but y'all are really not bright! Okay! I think I'm going to take a quick break here. Got the wife coming up. Um, she's coming back from walking the dogs. We're going to go have some lunch. Maybe buy some. Nice shotgun. Alright, maybe get some plants to plant later on today. Six and ten. Alright, those ain't doing too bad. Let's load the shotgun back up. Since we got some more rounds for it. And... There we go. And we'll see y'all 
a little bit later whenever I uh, jump back on here. We want to definitely catch up to where we were before. So I will see y'all there. All right, welcome back, everybody. I told y'all this would be a uh, interesting experience here as we search around looking for anything that might be hidden, weapons, or especially health. Um, the first part was recorded on the 27th, and then I had to stop and go help my wife and everything as she got back from the store. So this part was recorded on the 28th, the next day, and the voiceover is being recorded on April 4th. Um, seven days later, or eight days later, I guess, because 31 days. As we're sitting here, we're realizing this right here, you see there's a, a box back there, right there, with a crane that is over that road. So this is actually the part that we're looking at with the crane. Um, so it's something that's ooh, totally different. And here we go. The, the soldiers and the aliens are still fighting it out, as you heard there. And that's fine with us. Let them kill each other, especially the, especially the, the, the soldiers. Let's let the aliens kill the soldiers. That'll be fine with me. The head crabs are taking a very strange route to come and uh, get to me. You'll notice the sound is different, too. I noticed that. Uh, whenever I first was setting this up and brought the other recording down here, I don't know what it is. We saw that on the Half-Life side, too, where when I saved and came back the next day and started playing, the sound quality had changed and gotten all echoey. If you remember that part where, uh, where we had extended the bridge in the last episode, we had had fallen into the goo and then saw the switch on the wall that we should have used to extend the bridge across the thing just past the rocket engines um remember it suddenly the sound got all echoey and everything there uh very ambient and we're having the same kind of thing here the sound quality seems to have improved um or it's definitely different Said, more battles between the as the as you see the the guy in the door they're fighting and the fire extinguisher is coming on it looks like Did I take him out yeah I got him I gotta get those. As they say, they're saying that's him, but there's oh, there's a, a thingy. Let's kill them. I shouldn't be wasting magnum rounds on these things. I really shouldn't. They said that's him, but they had a hard time. They were still fighting off the hound eyes, weren't they? And I think a bull squid. Yep, they killed the bull squid. Good. One of them, anyway. Now, if we can get the other one. And where's the damn head crab that's messing around with us? He's hiding behind the, hiding behind the 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 hound eye. Isn't that great? I keep forgetting I don't have to pull the trigger in order to switch these weapons. That's what happens when I come over here straight from the other side. So yeah, we're basically where we were, you know, for the uh, die pub. We're basically where we were for where the, uh, the crane, the big crane thing was blocking the road, so we have to do that now. And it is such a mess in here. As you see, it's, it's like I've said, we thought we were doing that with that piece of track that we had to lower. But nope, that was something totally new that had been added in. And we're looking playing vanilla. Looking forward to playing vanilla Black Mesa. Yep, here we are here. 
So we're starting to get into these areas where we were uh, looking at before with the tram up there. You know, we pulled the tram on around the corner now. That's where the soldiers were on that big block piece of uh, dirt, of, 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 of boards. Why did I say dirt? Half-life on the brain or something. All right, we got to get all these batteries and, and, and power sections here on that I believe. Resistors, is that the word? Resistors or capacitors is what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure which these are, but we got to get them turned on anyway, I'll bet. How about we use our flashlight? Turn your flashlight on, buddy. Walking around without it. Plus, we're going to save the game. Since what? We're walking around with 36 hit points. Alright. So we got the power to something turned on. What was the sign? Still got the big flame section there. Which I bet you don't have to cross here, buddy. I'm just glad it didn't do us any damage. See, we could have came in that way. But then we wouldn't have been able to shoot him in the butt. And that should be where the two guys are laying there entwined on the floor. Yep, where they were all, as I said, all mussed up. Cut your flashlight on. There you go. We didn't bust that the first time around. We didn't bust any of these the first time around. Thought I'd done better at that. But it's an unbustable. If you're throwing that many chips off of it, it ain't gonna break. Doubt that one will either. It did. Doesn't seem to be anything up there, though. Alright. So we're searching for more health in particular. I'm happy I could knock that off. I was expecting it to break and then realized most of those are plastic. Okay. I was trying to get my bearings here to figure out exactly where. Get So I switched between the pistol and the thing and find out exactly where it is that I was at. There's where we came in first and had the trash cans there. But that was the first part. I remember seeing that soldier laying on the floor. Around the curve is where we had come from. Now it's time to search this room. Find out what the hell is going on. And are we missing anything? I'm thinking this is the equivalent. No, it's still not really the equivalent of what I'm thinking of. I was thinking maybe over on the Half-Life side. Remember the equivalent of that room? The storeroom with all the racks? One that was just past the room with the, the books and everything in it? But I don't think it is. I don't think we've gotten to that part yet, really. Unless things have really been moved around. So now I'm just trying to figure out what the hell it is I have to do. I see a big switch there. That's that big metal switch and there's a red light on it. And I'm thinking that has something to do with the... the Does it move the, the rocket engine there? You notice there's a rocket engine. Or an engine cone rather that's sitting here on, on top of this. And it looks like that ought to be lowered down onto one of these platforms one of these trams. So it's like, can I lower that? Is this the way we're supposed to go? Is this the next part of the whole adventure? But that doesn't seem to be working out either. And I was very amazed these doors open. Takes us right back into the first room that we had before. Where you had the, the part that's got the, uh, the forklift. It's like, okay, I've done everything I can do right here. Let's see, can I open the crane? Can I use the crane control? Is that what the power turned on? Remember, we used all that power, but it's not moving any of this. So it's like, why isn't any of this moving? Because I'm thinking that's what's supposed to happen. But I'm apparently mistaken. See, more of the blue pipes, more of the red pipes. Here, I'm like, can I pick that? Can I pick that wheel up there? But I can't. The handle. 
I turn that on. Caution crane power status is on. One of the cranes is on. And I didn't notice there seems to be another light. Maybe the red, maybe the other one's red. So I'm thinking, okay, what? How come the, the how come I can't move the crane? Let's see what else we got here. Maybe the switch is in here. Nope. That's that's a head crab. Fortunately, he didn't get us. We're still at 36 points. Picking up some more rounds. Shotgun rounds, I believe. At some point along here, I really, really hope that I get the idea of saving. That would be nice. I don't think it happens, though. I think that my ideas of saving don't happen until I've uh, realized that I hadn't saved. More shotgun shells. Still looking for health. That's our biggest concern right now is where can we get some more health? And why don't we switch to another weapon before we come back out here? Okay, we realize that's the door we came through. The one that we were so shocked and surprised that it opened. Finally, we realize that this might not be the best place to go climbing up. Minor Lord, thank God it only did five points to me instead of a full ten, which I think they usually do. Did I get that one? Yes, I did. Alright, so there's more stuff up here. Let's bust through these. And that's where I realized that I should have been saving all this time. Because here we are, all the way back here, where we hadn't even flipped on the crane switch yet. So we're going to do that, and then I'll catch up to you after we've gotten out there and hopefully have saved. You see, we're down to 26 now instead of the 30, I think, that we hid when we came in here. But yeah, hopefully we've saved or something. Or maybe we just picked up there. Yep, and we go, damn it, we still didn't save. So I finally get my head screwed on correctly here, and I was cussing up a storm. Save game. There, and as you see, we're at a full 36. And I think we haven't taken out the head crabs yet. Pretty sure that they're still up here. Yes, they are. And we're going to be even lower on the hit point list. I think I just let them kill me. Yep, I do. Oh. <sighs> yeah, here's the, the elite, elite gaming that y'all, that y'all tune into my channel for. This is the elite skills, the, the pro level gaming. That, that I'm I'm well known for. At least I'll get plenty of experience of seeing every aspect of the game. There's so many of these. Oh, so many of these uh, gamers out there doing these things. And that one gave us a, a thing of, uh, of submachine gun ammo that time. So many of those gamers out there that you never get to experience what failure states look like. And I'm hoping I save here again. Because we're coming up on where the turret is. So maybe I throw a... Throw a grenade in there, maybe? Yep. Check it out. Ought to save again right there now. Yes, <laughs> I was hoping I'd got my head screwed on straight. There we go. <coughs> it's like okay, especially when we find something that we've died to several times. Let's freaking save. Let's see how much health we can suck out of this thing. Back up to eighty-one. That's not bad. You see, the crane is on, and now we can move that out of our damn way. 
security door we still can't do. So we're trying to figure out where is the one that moves. There we go. And now we can move that out of the way. That is the equivalent now in the game of where we were when we moved that first big crane claw to get out of our way. So that's what we've basically gotten to here. I'm like, does that do anything? I don't know. We moved that, so did that... I just thought, did that move the crane with the rocket engines? Is that what that one did? We need to get back in that room. Please tell me I save here. Yes, okay. You know, you haven't got to kill me more than 10 or 20 times before I slowly start to realize what it is I'm doing. So I'm thinking that I think this is this a good spot to stop? Is that what I did or did I just decide to bring the tram up? Or did I go in and see if I could move the other one? Nope. See I was thinking what well, did that move that crane? No it didn't. So I did come in here and see if I can move anything. And I still can't move that one. That one is still off. I was wondering if that other one moved that. Or did... You know, like I said, there's that, that thing that where I moved the track. Let's go move these things. Maybe they'll have something in them. But they didn't. And ever the optimist. I still try the doors. Ever the optimist. All right. So now I gotta figure out where I'm going and why, and I also gotta loop around. Does this loop around? If I'd gone this way, does it loop around? And it does. See, if I'd gone straight, if I'd taken the train, it would have looped around here, all the way in a circle, just like the on the loop stuff did. Or on Half Life. Now. I definitely came this way. Yep. I'm sitting there going, okay. Train must be present to proceed past checkpoint. <laughs> well, that's the nice part about no longer having to worry about that. Nothing here to grab. I don't think there's any ammo or explosives or anything. That's the elevator we came up on, so I was just re-getting my bearings, finding out if there was any ammo for me to pick up. The only thing that was down below that was uh, Magnum Rounds, which I think I'd already picked up, so that was cool. So I've discovered this is a circle. I've already taken the tram around to the left. This is where I would have come if I had, had driven the train this way. Because... And I think, yep, the other switch, I think, one of them moved the train, the other one set the track. That's what it was. The other one turned the track so that it would go straight instead of turning right. There we go. We got this all figured out now. And now we're going to pull the train up to where it was. And find out what the hell is on past this. Because it wasn't what we were thinking. We really didn't. Yep, see, we would have turned to the right there with this one still hanging over our heads. And we're going to leave that behind us as we go, what the hell is ahead of us? Now, do we do what we did before? And... I think I'm at a loss here. It's like, okay, you just... Why am I doing this again? I think I'm still puzzled here is what was going on. It was like, okay, that's the way I came, so this just loops around. All right, we got that figured out now? Yep, see? That's just, just where you were. Don't walk into it like you did last time. Yep, you've opened up all these doors. I'm thinking I must be going along here looking to see if there's any ammo or anything I missed is my guess. And I knew I hadn't hit that, so let's see what happens when I hit that. It just lowers it a couple of feet. I was wondering if it was going to push it up into the air, and it didn't. It just lowered it. 
So it did nothing, but it's nice that they put that in there. It's fun that they put that little thing in there. And I think as, as White Text said earlier, I do kind of, sort of, halfway miss the little electric rail there on the bottom. It's fun to have one of those. I'm on the Half-Life side. It was fun having to stay off of the track. Glad to say I put in a save again before we came around this corner. Because we're definitely going to have more soldiers. I already know that. We're definitely going to have more soldiers ahead of us. And we're loading. I think, yep, we hit a loading screen. Like I said, the loads are almost as long as they were back on the original Half-Life. Back on the... Yep, there we go. Throwing grenades at us and all. I think that was an elevator going up, wasn't it? Yep, oh. elevator going up to that level. Can we shoot them through the gap? That becomes the next question. Can we see them through the gap? Alright, there's a secure access off to the right that we can no longer get through. I'm going to assume that we kill these guys up there. And then save before we start into this section. Yeah, I think this is, this is the equivalent, I think, of that area that had the door area that had all the books and the area where the Vortigaunts and them were fighting. I think this is that area. So this is where we decide to save before we go up there and get our butts kicked by a bunch more soldiers. So we will pick up again this time and see where we go.